prosperity comes through revati revati means prosperity a man married to a woman born in revati nakshatra is indeed a lakshmi kant he loves his wife and his wife is also no less than a lakshmi she is goddess she is blessed with prosperity she is revati lakshmi kant is a indian term for a man who is married to a woman who is just like lakshmi she is beautiful she is warm hearted she is honest and pious she is not asking for more she is content and she is a great lover of goddess lakshmi she worships goddess lakshmi with much love and faith such a woman is indeed a great blessing whosoever man she marries such a man becomes lakshmi kant you see that is how revati nakshatra is a man or a woman having maximum planets in revati nakshatra will never fall short of money such a man such a woman is blessed by goddess lakshmi by revati prosperity is not about money there are millions and millions of men and women around this world who have millions of dollars in their bank account and yet they are poor they die like a poor man dissatisfied man unhappy man and then there are men and women who may not have millions of dollars in their bank account they may not have a luxury car or a bungalow and yet they are content they are happy you know why because they have love in their hearts those who are living a luxurious life and driving in luxury cars and flying in a private airplanes are found to be miserable unhappy simply because there is absolutely no love in their hearts most people are unhappy and they are unhappy because there is no love in their hearts says jidu krishna murti so one thing is clear that money has absolutely nothing to do with love else all money makers would have found happiness but that is not the case the truth is something else the truth is that this millennials and billionaires are the ones who are found to be in more miseries than a poor man a poor man has absolutely no savings no properties no cars and no wealth he is just a hand to mouth person goes in the morning works hard collect his wages and spends it on his daily needs that's all there is no worry you see but a rich merchant a business tycoon he has so much to worry about his properties his wealth there is so much in the bank account whether it is safe whether it will remain safe what will happen after me who will be my successor you see so many worries a mountain of worries he takes pills to sleep he takes pills to digest his food he takes pills because he has many diseases you see and in the end this so called rich man dies in worries such a rich man dies like a beggar he takes his last breath in a posh bungalow or in a five star hospital and yet he dies like a beggar utterly dissatisfied utterly disappointed the master says emperors here die like beggars and sometimes a beggar dies like an emperor and then there are a few beggars who die like emperors
utterly satisfied totally enlightened they take their last breath in awareness they die smiling to them death is just a part of the journey and we have had such masters who died like an emperor jesus buddha mahavira baba nanak and many more who had absolutely no bank balance no mercedes and no bmw and there had been no one as great as an emperor as these enlightened beings the divine masters <laughs>